I created a two-way player in MLB The Show 23, but I'm the smallest player in the entire league at only 5'5", 150 pounds, hence the name Scrawny Slugger. The Seattle Mariners were the only team willing to take a chance on me, so I moved out to Arkansas to start my minor league career. I was desperate to prove that I belonged in this league, and I hit a single to right field in my first ever at-bat, giving me a perfect start. My bat really does not have a lot of pop, so it's very important that I don't make errors at shortstop or I'll get benched. We were up 2-0, and I was looking for more with the bases loaded but I popped up into shallow center field, really letting my team down. While I was small, I was also not very fast, and I was wondering if I was fit for this level of competition, as my lack of range in the field was really showing. We lost this game 7-4, and I couldn't help but feel like it was my fault for only having one hit. We were looking for our first win of the season, and their first baseman absolutely robbed me of a hit, and I was off to a terrible start on offense. And then with the game on the line, I grounded right to the shortstop, once again failing to come up in the clutch. I have to play better, especially in one run games where I can easily cost my team. I started to realize that I absolutely suck at baseball and just needed to focus on one thing at a time as I spent our whole day off in the batting cages. If I had one thing going for me, it was my plate vision as I was not striking out a lot and that allowed me to work back into this count and get my second base hit of the season. Then while I was dancing around like an absolute idiot, my teammate hit one over the fence as we tied the game up 3-3. Three to three. I finally touched home plate. It was the bottom of the eighth inning and I got absolutely nailed with a fastball that helped get two aboard and we'd go on to win this game. I made my pitching debut against Springfield, and I wanted to prove that I was much better at pitching than hitting. I struck out my first minor league batter ever in just three pitches with great command of the strike zone. My first inning went great as I retired my first three batters in a row and was looking absolutely untouchable. My fastball barely touched 90 miles per hour, but my pitches had a ton of break and I was baiting a lot of swinging strikeouts. I learned early on that my curveball was the best put away pitch I had in my arsenal, and I was using it very often. I gave up two base runners in the top of the fourth inning, and while I had some good stuff, it was very clear I did not have the stamina yet to go deep into games as a wild pitch allowed Springfield to tie it up. However, Arkansas wanted to see what I could do, and I showed some really high strikeout upside, punching out nine total batters, and going six complete innings. We lost this game after I was taken out, but I realized I have a lot of potential as a pitcher, and absolutely want to continue being a two-way player. I was looking for my first extra base hit of the year, and I got a hold of one in the bottom of the seventh, but I still have warning track power. I was making good contact all year long, but I wasn't getting on base and I was in danger of being benched. I could jumpstart my career with just one home run and turn this season around and I really thought this was the one, but the outfielder reached over the wall and made the catch, just not enough power. I was an okay fielder, but I felt like I was being held back by my speed because I'm carrying around this massive dump truck. We were tied in the bottom of the ninth and I had a chance to walk it off for my team and I wasted absolutely no time swinging at the first pitch that came to me and thankfully I got the opposite field blooper to drop scoring my teammate from second, and I came up with my clutchest moment of the entire season. I was improving every day, and it was finally starting to show on the field. In our next game against Springfield, I hit a shallow single into left center, getting my first hit in several days. I was happy with singles, but I was still looking for the first extra base hit of my entire career, and I was showing a bit more gap power on this hit in the fourth inning. I was looking for my third hit in a tie game, and I hit this one very well in the deep left center, on the run, but it was caught. I thought that could be a double. We win the game regardless. While that series helped me get my stats up, my OPS was still very low at 479, but I was ready for my next start on the mound. I dominated the first inning of my first start, but my second start was a whole different story. I had two on with zero outs, and I allowed a bases clearing double, as we were already down 2 nothing. But my struggles only continued as I gave up a line drive RBI single to make it 3 nothing. All I wanted was to get out of this inning without allowing another run, and I collected my first strikeout of the day. Then I once again showed off my high strikeout upside, ending the inning with another. My team wasn't giving me any run support, and I needed to keep it close if we wanted a chance to win. Even though I'd given up three runs, I struck out my fourth of the day and feel confident on the mound. We simmed the third inning, and I gave up another two runs, and even though I took my first loss as a pitcher, I was still improving greatly. I wanted to help my team even the series versus Frisco and smacked a single right past the diving third baseman. They tied the game in the sixth inning, but I wasn't done yet hitting a perfect perfect back up the middle to put runners at the corners. Then I laid it all on the line, taking off with my very, very slow speed rating and stealing the first base of my whole career. I had a chance to tie the game with a runner on second, and even though I landed my third base hit of the game, my lack of power continues to be my biggest weakness as I can't score the runner and we lose the game. I felt like I was a big reason we lost these games against Frisco, and in the third game, I thought I had a double, but ultimately overestimated my power and my speed, digging for second and got caught in an embarrassing pickle. My lack of size, speed, and fielding ability had me beginning to doubt if I was even Major League material.
Imperial. I was still looking for extra bases as I hit one deep into the opposite field, but once again, my 40 power rating failed me. We took another loss, and while my batting average was up to 295, my OPS was terrible at 607. Despite all this, I felt a breakout coming on. I had to remind myself that this was only my first year of double A, and at least I was making some great plays in the field. With a man on second in the third inning, I smacked one into the left center gap, scoring my teammate from second and getting my team on the board. I've been on fire at the plate recently, and while I didn't go for any extra bases in this game, I played a very clean game to help my team break out of its slump against Frisco. We were in game number five of the series against the Rough Riders, and I wasted no time in my first at bat, smashing one into the right center gap. That looks good. I'm digging for two, diving in, and just barely safe. My first ever double is an RBI, and I'm on top of the world. I had been absolutely mashing lately and wanted that to continue as I loaded the bases with a single. Then my teammate Cade Marlowe hit one past the shortstop as he scored two runs and we won this game 7-5. to five. I got my first ever double in a game where my team's bats really came alive. We were looking to even the series in our sixth game against Frisco, but I was back on the mound and was already struggling. With the bases loaded, I found a clutch strikeout to get my second out of the inning and with the chance to survive without giving up a single run, I threw strikes on all three of my next pitches to find my groove at the right time. After that first inning, I absolutely cruised through this game, striking out six batters and only allowing one earned run to win the first quality start of my career. We were 7-8 and eight, 15 games into the season, and my ERA was down to 4.5 while my OPS climbed to over 660. We were in our next series, and I was continuing to show a little bit more power in my bat, but the hits still weren't falling. We lost the first game of the series, but I was motivated to help my team win the next one as I hit an RBI single over the shortstop's head in my first at bat and hit a perfect perfect single in my second. I had a very good game but didn't get enough help from my team as we lost our second in a row. I didn't want to be the reason we lost our third straight so I continued swinging a hot bat. I was consistently making really good contact with the ball which was helping my power ratings but I was still flying out on the warning track and this series was not going our way. I was on the mound for game number four starting out strong with a strikeout and ended the inning with yet another as I struck out two of my first three batters. However, my good luck completely turned around in the second inning as I gave up a deep home run and was relieved after four. My team won this one without me. That was a very embarrassing game that I wanted to put behind me for game number five, and I had the opportunity to come in clutch with the bases loaded, hitting one high and deep, driven into right field, but it was caught, and my lack of power loses my team another game. It was my day off after an embarrassing series, and I knew I had to hit the weights if I wanted a chance to hit my first home run ever. I didn't realize how badly I needed a day off, and I started ripping the ball in the first inning, driving in a teammate and getting us on the board. In the fourth inning, I got a beautiful pitch right down the middle, which I slammed into the right center gap. The center fielder missed and I was digging for two before realizing that my teammate completely stopped on the base paths and I had to go all the way back to first, just barely avoiding a disaster. I was robbed of my second double of the year, but I was still swinging for the fences because we were up 4-1, high and deep, left field, and I'm robbed again. Two robberies in one game as we take the 6-6. To 3W. I was on the mound trying to keep our win streak alive and picked up my usual first inning strikeout. I had a very, very good game with seven strikeouts until the seventh inning when I gave up good contact with two men on to give up a run. I was relieved and got the win for the quality start. I was obviously disappointed in the pop in my bat with just one double so far on the year, and while I was hitting more balls to the gap, they still weren't dropping. With runners at the corners in the fourth inning, I hit one the other way that managed to stay fair. This was definite extra bases, but I stopped for a second because I'm not used to going to second base, but my second ever double scored two runs. I'm probably never going to be a home run hitter with these stats, but I've already improved so much through 30 games as a two-way player, and I'm committed to being my team's MVP.